I'm going to showcase quest items that let you do cool things anywhere in the world. This guide will not mention the alliance specific items like scrying bowls or the fur bog turner in your staff thing. Not everything here is horde specific though. To be able to use these items you want to make sure to never complete the quest. I have looked through every single quest item in the game and thoroughly tested every possible item to come up with this list. Twice. I did this back in vanilla and I did it again. I just want to preface this and say that in vanilla, these were usable items and Blizzard, if you are watching, do not patch it out, okay? Anyway, let's get into it. The first one is Orwin's Shovel. I just love this thing. It lets you do a mining animation anywhere. You can kill someone and pickaxe their face. You can mine the mailbox, mine NPCs. You can pretend you're mining someone's node. You can trick newbies that there's a mineral that they can mine. Why can't you see it, bro? It's right here. Fun times. So to get this item, you'll need to get the quest Gordunny Cobalt from Orwin Gizmik in Feralas at Camp Mojachi. You can get this at level 38. No pre-requirements or quest chains, just simply pick it up and never finish it. Next up is the Foreman's Blackjack. This does a slap animation and makes a thwack noise. You can use this to pretend to slap NPCs, players, the Alliance, etc. You get this from Foreman Thazril in Duratar, the Orc Control Starter Zone in the Valley of Trials. It has a very short cooldown of just a few seconds. You can even target yourself to play the sound and animation. Slap away! The Aspect of Neptulon is a potion you can use over and over again every 30 seconds that shoots a fart cloud at whatever you target, then gives them a blue ominous glow for a second. It has a short range and the player will react as if they were hit with something. You can toss this on people and they might freak out. To get it, just go to Ashara and talk to Duke Hydraxis and pick up the quest Poisoned Water. Very simple. Egan's Blaster will take up your ranged weapon slot. If you don't have a ranged weapon slot, well, now you do. Paladins, Druids, Casters with Guns? Yeah, this looks like a generic gun when you draw it out. When used on other players or NPCs, you'll do a Siphon Life type animation. You might be able to provoke unflagged players into attacking you with this. To get it, just go to Light's Hope Chapel. South on the hill, there is a guy named Caretaker Allen. He'll give you a quest to go find Egan. Then, near Stratholm, is Egan. Once you find him, Egan will give you the follow-up, which gives you this gun to shoot ghosts or something. Alright, so this next item is my favorite in the whole game. It, it is just so awesome. It comes with a penalty though, okay? You won't be able to get your .5 raid tier gear if you decide to keep this item. I think it's totally worth it though. It, it's called the Ectoplasmic Distiller. It starts with going to Mokvar at Orgrimmar in the throne room. Once you do, uh, the Earnest Pro Proposition quest, accept a supernatural device quest. Go to Gadget Zan, find Mux Mana Scrambler, and then do that quest. When you accept the follow-up quest, you'll get the ectoplasmic distiller. Do not complete this quest. This item is way too flashy to ever give up. It drops this big water tank thing that makes giant blue waves and a loud whooshing sound. It costs one goblin rocket fuel per use though. I used to macro my vanish to drop one of these. It's really confusing to players. Heck, I drop them in noob zones and once enough lobies crowded around it like fish attracted to a glowing angler, I'd gank them all. Very fun times. Drop it in town, in raids, in the middle of duels, pop one off on top of a streamer, the possibilities are infinite. So let's say you absolutely need your tier 0.5 gear or whatever, or you already did the ectoplasmic distiller quest. Once you do the quest requiring the ectoplasmic distiller, you'll get an extra dimensional ghost revealer. All this thing does is give you a buff that says you can see the recently deceased. It doesn't let you see player ghosts, uh, as that would be very, very overpowered for corpse camping. It's just used to see some NPC ghosts for a quest. Even if you complete the quest this thing uses, you can still go back to Mox, no, not that YouTuber Mox, and ask for another one. This thing used to eat up a dispel or purge spot in vanilla, but it got fixed, so now it gets ignored. We'll see how it acts in classic though, you know Blizzard, they might forget. Either way, it just puts a little buff on you that people can see. The Fell Orb is an item that gives you a 60 health Fell Hunter you can summon anywhere in the world. Out of the entire list, this is the hardest thing to get, and the orb only lasts two hours before you have to go back and abandon the quest to get another one. Before I go into the awful details on how to get this, let's talk about the pet. It's a full-sized fell hunter that's stuck in aggressive mode. It will attack anything hostile that comes within a pretty large radius. If you teleport or get summoned somewhere, it will not follow. If you take a flight path, it will run on the ground after you until it aggroes something. It has 60 HP and does almost no damage. Damage. The orb has 5 charges and lasts 2 hours, and costs you a charge to unsummon. 
Sometimes it bugs out and takes a charge and doesn't summon anything. It's still cool as heck to see a warlock with two fell hunters or even anything else with a fell hunter. It doesn't have any fell hunter abilities or even stealth detection. It's just a weak pet you're supposed to use for a quest, nothing more. But it's cool to have and you can summon this guy anywhere. So how do we get one? You're going to start in Swamp of Sorrows at the south road leading to Blasted Lands as a fallen hero of the Horde Ghost. Talk to him and do Fall from Grace, then do d the Disgraced One. After that do the quest The Missing Orders, then do the Swamp Talker. In Swamp of Sorrows, there's a cave at the bottom right of the map at 6675. The Swamp Talker is surrounded by 2-3 Murlocs. He's in the room at the back of the cave and is level 50. Kill him and loot War Chief's Orders. Turn it in to the Fallen Hero. Then take Tale of Sorrow. Turn that in. And take Stones That Bind Us. This quest sucks. Bring friends, cause you're going to spend eternity if you solo this. You gotta kill specific quest mobs, but they won't die unless you break a stone near them. Anyway, once you painstakingly get that quest done, do Heroes of Old across the road. Then go back to the Fallen Hero and accept Kirith. Go to the cave at Blasted Lands about midway down the map and on the very right, at 6532, and kill Kirith, the giant fell hunter. Bring friends for this one too. Now once you kill him, a spirit pops out that will let you complete the quest. Return to the Fallen Hero in Swamp of Sorrows and accept the Demon Hunter. Go to Azshara and talk to Lorimus Thalipedes. Click Can You Help Me to complete the quest, then accept Lorimus and click through his dialogue. Take Breaking the Ward and complete that and then do Name of the Beast. Talk to Lord A Akorok, is that how you say that? And then do Part 2. Get a group and kill the three-headed Hydra. Turn that in, then return to Lorimus. Finally, when you accept as Sharzite, you'll get a Fellhound Tracker Kit that lasts 10 minutes. Pop it open and you'll get a Fell Orb that lasts 2 hours and has 5 charges. When you want another orb, just return to Lorimus, abandon the quest, and pick it back up again for another kit. You can combine Egan's Blaster and your Fellhound to roleplay a Warlock. Awesome. Yeah, man. So yeah, hope this video was useful. Unlike other YouTubers, I try to make useful content formatted in a way for quick digestion. I'd love to make some actual real guides that other YouTubers, if you can call them that, have made. That's basically just completely wrong. I won't call them out, but it should be obvious who has and who hasn't actually played vanilla or even private servers and are just churning out useless content they're copying from smaller channels. Sorry, I'm just pissed when I open YouTube and see these frauds making videos about things like Druid leveling or bank alts and their guide is 100% wrong and misleading. I promise here we'll never do that crap. Anyway, you can join the Discord if you have any questions. I got more rogue stuff coming out and when the game launches we'll have corpse camping, we'll be corpse camping alliance as long as we can. Hit me up in the comments with what rogue stuff you want to see next. If this stuff doesn't work in classic then Blizzard really effed up cause it definitely worked from vanilla through cataclysm. Anyway, that's all I've got. Still homeless dude. Still zero donations bros a few peeps suggested i do a patreon but i don't know if the regular donation thing is getting no hits eh whatever i don't do this for money bro be a bro and stay swole